I've lived in Akita for four years now, but I'll, I'll be going back at the end of August, back to the U.S. Yeah, this is my third year in Akita, and I'm also going back soon. This is kind of, <laughs> we're, we're, on the, we're on the tail end of our, our Akita experience now. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of crazy, one month left. Definitely the the last the last adventurous thing. Yeah, we, we do. definitely won't be um, going river trekking. What I do like with some of the hiking trails around here is that you can experience a lot of different landscapes within the hike. You'll have the kind of forested paths, but then you come out onto very, very rocky, like volcanic looking landscapes, which is something that I had never personally experienced in my hiking in the States. Yeah, in Colorado, like like our climate is so different than here. It's like really, it's really dry um, and like it's high altitude. Um, so it really changes the, like the atmosphere of a trail. It's really different, like the, the mosses and things and, and just the number of trees. The trees are so much denser here. Um, where I'm from, you'll have just a few, a few pine trees kind of like clinging on. <laughs> but here, they're everywhere, right? So you do feel kind of like insulated. こういう感じのところね、よく岩屋って呼んでたの。そういうところで昔の、え、修行僧お坊さん。こういうところで7日間ずっとひたすら祈りながら過ごしてたとかね。You want to meditate for a minute? Should I? <laughs> yeah. I forget. I forget the hands. It's like this. It's like this. And I think when you start losing yeah, you can right. tell when people start losing or falling asleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, in some ways, through the people that I've met here, I almost feel a little bit more connected to Akita's nature than I did back home. Yes. 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 Yes.山はこういう山から魚が多いですね。まだまだね、山の恵みってたくさんあって、うん、とこ、この辺にあるのがこれ水だよね。うん、そう、たるこれ水。これは棘棘畜畜。愛子っていう山菜。これも味噌汁に入れたりだとか。うん。愛子。それ
recently, I've started to value, I guess, tranquility more than I used to. I've had more instances where I felt like, like, man, like I really need to kind of take a break. Like doing something like today, I'm like, man, I should really do this more often. This is a very good way to going to, to take that break. I would say just the amount of care and attention that locals will put into harmonizing with nature. That I never looked at nature in that way when I was back home. They'll, they might do a little prayer before going into the forest, or if they take, a lot of the locals who do forage for different mushrooms or for the mountain vegetables, and, but you know, they might take something, but they won't take all of it, they'll leave some, or they might fix the area that they took something. That's like a whole level of appreciation for nature that um, was really touching to me personally. Cameron was over here today. He was like, I think this might be the best outdoor activity I've done in Akhsta. Very relaxing. Right? Yeah, it is relaxing. No, it just makes me want to live out here for a few days, right? <laughs> like, this, this feels like Japan. Like, this, this is gonna... Yeah. There, you know, I have like the brief moment where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I, I mean, I know I'm gonna miss it.